done. Welcome to the show. You know, all my guests today say their love lives have become a battlefield and they are fighting it out today. Please meet Craig. He says his house is about to become a war zone. Craig, what is going on? Well, Jerry, uh, I'm a you know, good-hearted person. I work hard. I got my niece living with me. She's been living with me for about a year and a half now. Yeah. And uh, she got pregnant eight months ago, had a child, and uh, since then she got pregnant again. But eight months ago, she moved her boyfriend in the house. I was like, good-hearted, come on in. But the guy's he's worthless, Jerry. Uh, he don't get her up and help her take care of the baby at night, you know. Don't even have a job. Mm -hmm. He's around the house. Hell, he won't even take the trash out. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, what money he does get when he does work, he takes and spends on beer and and pot, and he, you know, basically just don't wow. take care. That's expensive. And I'm here today, yeah. Jerry, to bust his bubble. I'm here to yeah. tell him today when he when he gets back home, his bags are packed, sitting in my backyard waiting on him, and I got an added part too, Jerry. What's that? Uh, his best friend, Michael, didn't yeah. have a place to live about two months ago. And I told him, I said, well, yeah, go ahead and tell him to move in and hope something with Christy and Michael would happen. Well, it did, Jerry. So now she's sleeping with this other guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Bottom line is, Jerry, I, bottom line is, Jerry, three things are true to you in life. That's you, you hound dog if you feed him every day and your eyes and your ears. And my eyes and ears don't lie, Jerry, and they screw it. Yeah. And have been for the last about month and a half. Well, it's the same thing with my yes, hound dog, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. here today to tell him about it, Jerry. Okay. I'm, I'm here so to now, tell him. So your niece, uh, she has one child already. One and child. She's, she's Six months pregnant. pregnant. And, but she's pregnant not by this new guy. She's pregnant by the boyfriend. By the boyfriend. Like. By the yeah. boyfriend. Okay, yeah. so you're about to tell him that. Yes. Okay. So bring him on out. All right, here he is, Randy. I'm here today to tell you, when we get back home, your bags are packed and in the backyard <laughs> waiting on you. All Why right? is that, man? Because I'm tired. I'm tired of you, man. I'm tired of you treating Christy like you're treating her. You don't ever get Me up with treating her? Yeah, you don't, you don't ever get up with her. Baby. Bad, man. No, man, no, you don't ever get up. Hey, and your buddy, I got something better. Your buddy that just moved in, him and Christy been screwing for the what? last two months. What? <laughs> The week he was gone, the week he was gone, that your grandma was working? Huh. Michael and Christy getting it on the whole time, the whole week he was gone, buddy. Hey. Yeah. I'm sitting there watching you. I, I hope it hurts you. I hope it hurts you. Yeah, yeah. it hurts real bad, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it that you don't like about him? He don't work. And when he does, well, he spends his money on beer and, 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 and alcohol and, and pot, you know? He don't help her with the baby. He don't get in the middle of the night, you know? Man. He don't give the baby bad. don't do nothing. He's that ain't true. Jerry. That ain't you know that ain't true. Oh no, huh? Man, that baby got that baby got everything he wants. Mm. You know that. No, huh? Well, how's your relationship though with uh, Christy, with his niece? Pretty good, I think. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Here she is. Here's Christy. Oh, man. Randy, we're 
Why are you cheating with this dude, man? I'm so sorry. Sorry, hell. He showed me a better dime than what you could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> I guess that Randy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Randy, I love How you. How am I supposed to forgive you for cheating on me? I love you so much. What was you Please doing for that nine months she was pregnant, huh? <laughs> you left me when I was pregnant, and you just. Why? You tell me. All the people telling you cheating on me. I've never cheated on you until now. It just started a month and a half ago. How, <laughs> how, did it, uh, how did it start? I mean, did he come on to you or did you? Yeah, he come on to me. He kissed me first. Mm. Jerry, I love him with all my heart. And we're fixing to have another mom. kid and he's going to mm. break our whole family up. I don't want that so to happen. So you don't care about this other guy? Uh, no, no, not at <laughs> all. I love him with all my heart. There's nothing I wouldn't do you know to get you him do, back. Christy. I can't believe you've done this to me. All we've Randy, been I love you. That's all we've been through, man. You do this to me. <laughs> well, you need to start standing up and being more of a man. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Randy, I love you. All right, I tell you what. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the guy. Welcome back. If you just joined us, let me see here. Craig comes on the show. He doesn't like the fact that his niece, Christy, uh, has, been with, uh, has been with Randy. Uh, they have a child together already, and she's pregnant by him. How many months? Six and a half six, months. Six and a half months pregnant. Uh, so he doesn't like that fact. And then what makes it worse, apparently, is that Christy, for the last couple of months, has been sleeping with this other guy that is brought into the house. Uh, you know him. Is he a friend of yours? Yes, sir, Jay. We've been together, me and Michael, we've been friends for about 19 years. We grew up playing t-ball together. Oh, so you're we're, lifelong friends. Yeah, we're like brothers, man. Did, did like he brothers. ever, would you ever think of him to do something like this? He's... Never. I had, a, I had a tragedy in my life about two months ago, and I, he was one of the first persons I called, and I never thought that he would do anything like this to me. Hmm. And you're saying you don't really love him, you just Not at slept all, with Jerry. him because you were <laughs> unhappy. Not getting any attention from him. All right, all right here he is. Here's Mike. Like pregnant Hello. women, man. <laughs> One thing, man. man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, how can you do that, man? We, how long have we known each other, Michael? How long have we known each other? 19 years. What have we been through, man? Hell, Chris, what have we been better, through? He's better for you? No. Man. I'm sorry. We've been through thick and thin. We didn't, man, we done been in dude, jail been together. Up, dude. I know what all we've done, man. I'm saying I'm sorry. In jail been together. Been accused of all kinds of stuff. all kinds of stuff. Man, what? man, get off me, man. Oh, man. Is that what you did in jail? Oh. <laughs> and you, you yeah. see... You've seen, you've seen my little boy. 
You see my little boy. I know, man. I'm sorry. How much does my little boy mean to me? How many times did you sleep with her? <laughs> Two, three times a week. <laughs> Two, three times a week. When? Yeah, is it her? When? Is it her in bed at night. She gets up with the baby, and sometimes when you go off to work with her daddy, <laughs> and that time you went to work for a week and was gone away from the house. I can't believe you do this to me, man. After all we've been oh, through, man. man, get away from me. I can't believe you would do it. Yeah. So sorry, Randy. I would. I'm <laughs> sorry. Hey, and I'll let it happen. I'll do anything, man. I got the clothes. We still got a bunch of talking to do, man. All right, oh, oh. Shh. Hey, you gonna? Are you gonna? What's gonna happen? You gonna take uh, take her back? Randy, I love you with all my heart, baby, oh, and no. I don't want to be with no, anyone. No. Leave me alone. He's better. He's better for me. I love you with all my heart, and I don't want to be with anyone else but you. And I'm so sorry. I want to be with you for the rest of my life, and I want us to raise our kids together. I love you so much, and I'm so sorry I'll never do it again. <laughs> if you can forgive him, why can't you forgive me? We got a bunch of talking to do, but I love you too, baby. I love you too. Oh. We'll be back. Welcome back. My guests today say they're battling with the ones they love. Please meet Scott. He says his wife is too attached to her family. Scott, what is going on? Well, Jay, I've been with my wife for five years. We've got three beautiful kids together. And yeah. We love her to death, but I just found out about a week and a half ago that she's been sleeping with her cousin. Oh. Your wife, your wife is sleeping with her cousin? Correct. Where is that? How is that going on? Well... I brought him into my house because he just got out of jail. I he figured. just got out of jail. Yeah. I'm... So you invite him into your home. Right. And I How long ago was that? Uh, about two weeks ago. Two weeks? Right. And he's already sleeping with his cousin? Right. Is that why he went to jail? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I, I brought him into my house, you know, figured it'd be nice, give him a place to stay, food to eat, stuff like that. Yeah. And then he's just going to stab me in the back and take my wife, and I'm here today to bring her, bring her on the show and... I want her back. I love her to death. You still love her? Yeah. Uh, why, when, you, when did you find out that they were sleeping together? About a week and a half ago. Did you catch them? No. Um, told me about it, and then she confirmed it and everything. And she confirmed it? Right. And why didn't, is he still in the house? Yeah. Why didn't you just kick him out right away? Because I love her enough to where I, you know, I wanted what she wanted. You know? So where are you all sleeping? <laughs> they're sleeping in my room. He's, they're trying to kick me out of my room, and I'm here today to say, no. Nope. So... So, this guy, the, her, your wife's cousin, is sleeping with your wife, right. and they're sleeping in your bed while you're sleeping on the couch. Right. I mean, I hear this. I hear him having sex every night. And it's, it's tearing my heart apart. <laughs> so, wouldn't you think, gee, I don't think this should go on. Get out of here. Why wouldn't you say that? Not to your wife. I mean, your wife. That's a separate issue. Right. But wouldn't the first thing you would do is say, you get out of the house, I gotta deal with my wife right now. Right, I mean, I've Why tried. Why haven't you done that? I've tried, but I just ain't doing a good. You bring it up as a suggestion and you get voted down? What right, I mean, what? exactly, exactly, pretty much. That's why that suggestion box thing, it never works. Never. All right, you love your wife though, even though she's cheating on you. What does she say about it? Does she say she loves her cousin? I've never heard her know, but she just says she wanted to be with him and everything. Oh. But I love her very much. I want and you want her back. Right. And you want that cousin out. Right. It's your house. Right. 
You have a right to say who's in your house, no? Right. And you have kids with her, right? Right, three. Three children. Right. All right. They, none of them look like the cousin, right? <laughs> okay. All right, let's bring her out. Here's your wife, Crystal. So it don't matter. They yeah, show me some kids. sympathy. We've been five years Show together. me some sympathy then. Miles yeah. Sh Why don't you get down your knees and beg then? Yeah, like the little war. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't all about that. It ain't all about that. Yeah, it is all about it that. It ain't all about that. You should have done that before when your brother was sitting there ass. You were running like a little oh, da da this, oh, da da that. Blood's thicker than water, whatever. It don't matter. Blood's thicker than water. Yeah. Yeah, we had five years together, Chris. It don't matter. Three kids. You're gonna yeah, well, you should have changed nothing? that when the first time I ever cheated on your ass. You should have thought about it then. Yeah, well, I did think How about it. How many times do I have to cheat on you to uh, get it through your head that I don't want to be with you How over and over again? I stick around to show you that I loved you very much. Because you're yeah. 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 But you're the one who had That's all it's, that's all it's about. No, well, it's not about being Yeah. That's all. You should have been there from the get-go. You should have showed me affection. You should have made me happy. You should have loved me. I do love you. Instead of sitting there. I mean, if you want to get with me, show me some affection. You've had show three me children this. with him. I mean, why do you? Why have you stayed with him if you say you're not loving him? Because of things he does. It's first one time he's all lovey-dovey, show me some affection. Next minute he's matter. That true? No, because I do love her. He did on me five times, you know, and I'm still around. What kind of love is that? It shows I care for her. Because you can't get no one else better than me. That's why. Yeah. yeah open your eyes and look Let's around. Let's bring him out. Here is your cousin, George. You ain't nothing but a punk ass bitch. Listen, man, if you loved her, you wouldn't do the things you done. You would clean that house. You would take care of that. They call me Nance. They call me daddy twice. <laughs> you wait till we get here. Are we lying on your mommy? You, you ain't got call. nothing else better than that. You need a wake up call. You need a wake up call. You knew what I'll do to you. Bitch. I'll give her better sex than you never can. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Third cousin. You are, this is your cousin. Hi, Jerry. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> this is your cousin. What are you doing sleeping with your cousin? Think of this. Think this through. I'm scared of my cousin. She was a lover more than ever. She understands me more than any other female's ever. Look, your me. parents understand you. Yeah. This is your cousin. That's her cousin. That's uh, her cousin. I brought to your attention. You're the cousin too? Yeah. Cousin. I never knew it though. How am I her cousin? Tell me. Her grandpa's your uncle. Her grandpa got nothing to do with you, speaker. Her grandpa's cousin. We'll be back. Can't go there. Halfway to hell, you lost. I ain't leaving, bro. I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving. Welcome back. My guests today say their family fights are tearing them apart. Please meet Teresa. She says her baby will be a racist just like her mother. Teresa, what is going on? Hi, Jerry. I'm here because I want to tell my, my fiancé, Joe, that I'm two months pregnant and I'm going to raise my baby as a, as, to hate to <laughs> if he likes it or not. What is, what is you? Have you sought help? No, I don't need help, Jerry. The reason why I'm going to raise my baby as a, as, as to because when I was different. little, they hated me. They treated me like poor trash. They, they spit on me. You trailer trash. You was one ignorant bitch. Trailer trash. You're trailer trash. You're cheap. You hear you a cheap bitch. You cheap. 
You cheat. No, I'm not. You're cheat. Look at you. I'm skinny. You're fat. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, so you're going to raise? Okay. It's bad enough that you're you have this sickness, but why bring your why have you raised your child to be sick? The reason why is Joe, because when I met my fi my fiance Joe, he's a clan member, and and he taught me everything there was to know, and that's why I'm raising my baby if he likes it or not. Why, why, why would you want to bring your, why would, do you want to bring your child up hating? Because, Why not so give I your can, child a chance to make it? Your life is ruined, but why ruin no, your kid's life? No, because the reason why I'm having my baby come in is to hate racist is because the way that I was treated when I was growing up. Why Shut up! So well, let me tell you something, you deserve to be treated way, you understand what I'm saying? Now I'm going to tell you right now, you come up the stage and call me a bitch, I got you, you understand? Come off the stage and say that. Why you sitting up there? Okay. Yeah. Come on, D. What up, D? That's what I thought. Everything that happened to you, you deserve it because you want stupid ass bitch. You know what? What, let me tell you something. I've been a clan member for over 20 years, okay? I've been out of it for seven years. I'm not going to raise my kid as a clan member. You understand? That's you. I'll I, do it with that. Hey, listen. Listen. I need to turn around. I burn houses. I burn crosses, okay? I've even been on the road, okay? With my van. I'm not going to raise my kid up. Whatever. Whatever. They won't be raised as a clan. Did you get here on your own? <laughs> Whatever. My kids won't be raised as a clan, okay? You <laughs> That's understand? That's what you think. I know so. They will not be raised as a clan. You understand? Yeah. They will like Al. Well, I'll raise it. You understand? Okay, so you were a member of the clan. Yes, sir, for but, 20 years. Okay, but then you quit. Yes. You figured out it was really dumb. Mm -hmm. It's real stupid. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Uh, how did you two meet? We, doing, met, we met on the road doing carnival work. work. <laughs> What I not raise him as clan. Yeah. And I'm not joking. Yeah. I won't raise him as clan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you met at, at the carnival? I'm, I'm a nice carny. I've been <laughs> for seven years. And what do you do at the carnival? I'm a carny too. I tear down and set up rides. Okay. Dynamo. All right. So you met and now you're going to. So you're not going to raise this child. No, being I will not a, a raise racist. my kid as a well, clan. Well, good for you. Well, what do you want to say to him? He says he's not going to. He either have to accept it or when we get home, I'm kicking him out. Well, guess what? My kids won't be raised as a clan member. You understand? Whatever. Whatever. They're not going to be raised as a clan. Yep. Yeah. I'll guarantee you that, Teresa. Yep. Yeah. Well, this is a family. <laughs> we'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. My guests today say all the pain in their lives is going to stop today, even if they have to fight to get what they want. Please meet Rich. He says he's not about to lose his family to another man. Rich, what is going on? Jerry, I'm here to let you know I'm here to get my wife back. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of, I'm tired of this guy thinking he's better than me. If he wants to beat my ass, tell him to bring it on. I'm tired of this. The man thinks he can sit there and tell me he can sing karaoke. I'm going to tell you what, I can sing better than him and he can't even save a rat's ass. I love my, I love my wife to death and I, I have a three-year-old daughter. I'm not about to play 30 years old. I'm here to make a difference for my family. Well, I don't need it. Well, when did your wife run off with this other guy? About four months ago. Well, how'd that happen? Why? What happened? Well, we were at karaoke one night. Uh, and, yeah. And well, I, I can't help that. Okay. You know, she could, I mean, she could do what? anything she wants to. Okay. So but the thing is, is that she comes back to me. There's supposed to be a commitment made. Right. You're right. It's supposed to be a commitment. Okay. That's so, what marriage is all about. You know what I mean? I heard that. So anyway, so you're at this karaoke and he's there too. Yeah. And he sang better than you that night? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. So now you're at karaoke. She starts liking him, and they run off together. Well, no, it didn't really happen like that. Okay, they what? just, you know, got they together. They got you know? together. Okay. So now, uh, uh, is she with him now? Yeah. When was the last time you saw her? Last week at work because she works with me. Oh. oh. Do, do you talk to her on the phone at all? I talk to her to talk to my daughter. Oh. I have my daughter every other weekend. Oh, so okay. you, how long have you guys been split up? It sounds like... We've been split up for about a year now. Oh, I see. So you've been split up, and mm -hmm. now she's found someone else. But you love her. You want her back. But he's not right for her. Hey, I love He's her. not right for her. Yeah. Did you... Does she... Does he take her out more than you did? Is it? You think that's it? Do you think it's this whole karaoke thing? I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know. I tell you what. <laughs> let's bring out this guy. His parents. I'll tell you something. I'm gonna tell you right now. You don't need to say that with me. I'm right here. I'm right here. Well, you, what's up? You got beef? You. then you do what you got Stay to away do from her. you know i know you all got together i respect that but you ain't going home with me oh. yeah right yeah we'll see all right i got it's christina how can you do this to me i don't want your problem what is your problem i can't take this anymore from you too this is oh is that karaoke you're never home Never who? You always call me a That's what happened to him. I'm working while you were pregnant. You always call me yeah, a bitch. Keep a job. Uh -huh. A who? Yeah, a bitch? Mm-hmm. Can never keep a job. I had to support your lazy ass plus I tried. Support time. my lazy ass? Yes, I did. Who was making money when you were pregnant like that? Who was wanting to give you everything that you needed? Well, you sure you didn't get You're any months, okay. did you? He's two seconds to lose my with rotten teeth. I love him. Crack he I needed. He takes me out to the movies, the dinner. More than what the hell you do. So just leave me and him the hell alone. Because I love him and I want to be with him. We just wait until we get home. So you don't want, want to be with you. Where are you thinking at, punk? I love you, baby. Why did you why did you break up? You have been married for how long? For almost two years. You've been married for two years and you have children. You got one. And why why oh it's for him? No, I don't. Something you wanna to say to her? Don't even know what I've been through. The last two years. Whatever. Well, you put me through a lot the last 10 years. Costing her, calling her name. Yeah. yeah you don't even know point. You don't even, know, you don't even know what I go through. How could you know? You've never been married. Hey, you're right. I haven't, but I'm about to be. And I'm going to tell you something right now. When you call her and get this girl upset tonight, I'm the one who has to hold her. When yeah, she's but you to beat my ass. Then you shouldn't what? be keep then calling how, her for how nothing. Do I, how do you think well, I feel? Well, you got your daughter, man. All you do is call her. How do you think I feel? Why well, do you think I say feel? something? Oh, Come on, stand up and say something. I'm not going to say man. Punk bitch is all you are. So why don't you shut up? 
Does anyone have a brush? <laughs> okay, here's what I'm thinking. If she doesn't love you, you just got to face up to that. I don't know. And you have no feelings for him? No, I don't. Even though he's the father of your children? And no. You don't respect me? Is that true? You don't respect her? I do love her. You do love her, but you haven't shown her respect. I guess that's why she's moving away, huh? Okay, this is, you're going to be together, you two? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You're probably going to have to move on. I guess so. We'll be back. For the karaoke slot up there, you're a day late. The Harry Beck fed a show was yesterday. That guy that was just up here, he's got to be a plumber by the way he shows us his crap. No, actually, I'm a car truck driver. Yeah, this comment is for Christy Clorox, the carnival queen. Um, honey, get back in the dump truck. That's where you Why belong. Why don't you come say it in my face? Um, I will. Oh, like you're any better? I feel for you. I really do. I think you're sincere. If you want to come home with me, you just got to shave. I want to see what you got then. I want to see what you got. I think you need this more than I do, dog. Yeah, my question is for the two prison boys back there. Who dropped the soap first? Hey, you dropped the soap, soap, and I'll show you. <laughs> this is for the karaoke couple back there. I was just wondering who's going to be doing the breastfeeding when you guys have a child. <laughs> Kissing cousins, Elvis died a long time ago. And for you, you need a tweezers because that thing's tiny. Hey, what you were saying last night, bitch? Let's see Let's see Let's see okay, I have a comment for the lady that was talking about she want to raise her child as a racist. What were you doing at the carnival? Getting shot out the cannon or something? The first uncle that came up there, that wasn't even your business to be telling her what she was doing. That's that's her business who she in the bed, hey, okay? she's my Not family. Your business. <laughs> my family, she's my business. Stand up. <laughs> Hi, these are for the incest people. You in a black pants, you look like your parents were related. And you, you just nasty. Excuse and you, me, how long were you in prison? Because you swing like a bitch. <laughs>
me take this opportunity to thank all of you for being with us, and good luck in the decisions that you make regarding your relationships. You know, it's hell when we got to choose, but we do. Not because we're not capable of liking or lusting after more than one person at a time. We are. But in romantic terms, we're not capable of loving more than one. Because love means giving all of yourself to someone. And if you're splitting affection, offering those parts of your being that are to be reserved exclusively for that one very special person in your life, if you're offering that exclusive intimacy to another as well, then neither lover is getting anything you hold special. Neither lover is getting all of you. You're always holding a little of yourself back from one to give to the other in either time, feeling, intimacy, or commitment. So basically, you're taking from both, enjoying both, but really loving neither. Love is not divisible, not romantic love. So you do have to choose. A great lover is measured not by the quantity of his lovers. In love, the only number is one. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. You know, Rich, I, I felt bad for you on the show, and so I thought, you know, since you, you know, your wife left you for that other guy, maybe I'd help you out and give you some tips. Um, girls like the real clean look, so we thought maybe we shave your back for you. What do you think? All right, me make a name, man. Yeah, you got it. Dude, go with it. We're gonna shave that back clean. Yeah. Hey, that, man, that stuff is. Lather cold, that man. up, Todd. Lather it up. Lot. You know you like rubbing guys' backs. Come on. <laughs> Lather it. Up. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We're going to shave it nice and clean. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, Steve, don't you cut me. Oh, I won't. You better won't. not cut me, man. I won't. Man. It's not as easy to phone Steve as I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, you try a little, too. Hey, let's, we better work on yeah. your goatee a little bit, too. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, clean that one for me. Yeah, girls like the clean look, Rich. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My guests today say they get a jolt from their erotic jobs, and no one, not even their lovers, can dampen the fire that burns inside of them. Please meet Chastity. She says the whole world can see her sexy side. She says that her husband should open his eyes to her before she deletes him forever. Deletes him? What's going on? Hi, Jerry. Hi. Well, me and my husband have been together for about 10 years. Yes. Uh, we've been married for the last four months. Yes. Um, he's always working, he's never home, he has a band, he's always on the road, so I had to find a little extra thing to do on the side. And that is what? I've been having an affair for about four years, actually. Why'd you bother to marry him if you were having this affair? We have a little girl together, we've been together for so long. I see. We love each other, I do, I love him a lot, but... So tell me about this affair you're having. Um, it's with someone that we both know. Um, actually, <laughs> we're all best friends. Not anymore. <laughs> so you're going to tell your husband this now? Yes, and another little secret also. Which is what? We have a webcam now called PoutyLips.com. On the and on the internet. <laughs> PoutyLips. PoutyLips.com. Okay. <laughs> So he doesn't, your husband, so what, you're having, so what, you're having sex on the internet? On the internet, live, we have a fan base. Well, you tell him. Here is your husband, David. Oh, you're such sentimentalists. <laughs> David, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Ten years together, you have a child together. Yes, sir. Married four months, she says. Yep. Beautiful wide, bride. Yeah, love her to death. Uh, First thing I want to say is, baby, you know I love you. We've mm -hmm. been together for a long time. We've been through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know you're never home. You're always on the road. You're with your band. Mm -hmm. I've been having an affair for the last four years. Four years? With who? You know them. Four years? Four years. How the, how the hell can you do that for four years? When you're on the road, you're at work. For four years? Aww. Bring him on. Where's he at? Okay. 
Now, now I don't gotta get a computer. <laughs> That's good. Can I ask you a question? Why are you just behind my back when I've been trying to talk you into this? Honey, you've got to understand. I didn't want to do it for you, and when it started, it wasn't like we knew it just happened, and it just for four escalated. years. Yes, I didn't want to tell you because you'd be mad, and I wanted it Maybe to be if just you were us. around every now and then. Man, I, I could find time for that. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it. There's another <laughs> there. Who's that? <laughs> You ought to go in the furniture business. You know? <laughs> uh, well, you, uh, here's the issue, isn't it? You're, uh, I'm sorry, your name, do you go by Ms. V? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're married. E. Yeah, I'm married. Um... Does your husband know you do this? Yes, he does. Oh. He does. There's something so else he's been there and I... No, 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 there's something else I need to tell you. That's what? not it. You're what? right. We've been doing sex on the internet. Oh. <laughs> on the internet. On the internet. How do you do that on the internet? It's live, it's a webcam, and we have sex on the internet. Just. You're done, you're done. No, you, can, you can have your internet, and no. you can have that. I'll phone somebody else. Why do you have to be like that? I Man, mean, four years. How, you've been having sex on the internet for four no, years. No, 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 it's only been for a couple months. Yeah, it's, oh, it's only been a couple months. Well, it's okay. <laughs> But we have a fan base built and everything. The extra money that I have that I've been going out and spending on, that's how I'm making it. It's, it's, it's not hard, honey. It's not bad. You got a fan base. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, well, let's, I tell you, one of the fans is apparently is your husband then, right? Yes. And he but, knows about this. Yeah. Yes, he has and he's language. there. He and part? he's on it. Are you on it with him? Are you? Just tell him. Just tell him, Chris. I, I have been. Mm. Here he is, Gary. Springer show? Well, what's he gonna do? He's just gonna sit there and watch. I ain't even trying to hear you. Oh, okay. I ain't trying okay. to hear you. He's just gonna sit there and watch us do it. Okay. Look, Look, you man, you shouldn't even happened, be there. Man. You shouldn't even be doing that, man. It just happened, man. It just happened. It does, man. When you're sitting there and you're filming somebody and they're going at it, you know, sometimes you just. Man, you can't told have... me all that computer is for your work, too, man. I knew, man, you're man. lying. Man. Man, it, it, it ain't got to be like that, man. It just don't have to no, be like that. No, it don't have to be like this. I could be there, you know? Huh? Well, yeah. that's what we're trying to do. Oh. Oh, wait. That's why we're here, baby. We wanted to tell you, so then maybe... You, you wanted to tell me? Why don't you want to tell me four years? Uh-uh, no, 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 no. You've been together no, 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 no. for ten years. You have a child. No, no, Shouldn't no. you have told him when you started? I mean, it before? just got... It just got... Yeah. Yeah. Well, married. yeah, but th he should, th you shouldn't have married him then if you knew you wanted to do this. That's I, all right. I That's all right. Together. It ain't been a long marriage. It ain't been a long marriage. Too. Okay. You're not going yeah. nowhere. What's going to happen? You You're two going to stay nowhere. together? Yeah. Man, if she's going to hide this from me, she'll He's hide anything. He's coming home with this. Yeah. yeah. We'll be back. with normal, boring jobs, but their loved ones are demanding they give up their sexy ones. Please meet Lee. He says he comes from a good bloodline and he doesn't want his sister to taint it any longer. Oh. Lee, what's going on with your sister? She's a hoe, Jerry. She's a hoe? <laughs> Man, that's the best way I can put it. I mean, yeah. she's out there doing... Oh, she really is. I mean, she's a prostitute. Yeah. Saying. Oh, yeah. How long is she? Oh, how long is she? at least 10 years. Ten years? At least ten years. So, yeah. And I've tried repeatedly, 
to, to tell her she shouldn't be doing it. And, you know, she doesn't listen. And I'm her blood brother. I love her. And no matter what she says, I'm going to keep at it because she will quit one day. Uh, it's, So you're here to do what today? To stop her. To tell her I don't want her to do it anymore. Okay. It's not, it ain't good. She's got a daughter. She's married. She's married? Yeah. Oh. Does her husband know she does this? Ah, uh, no. I don't believe so. So she's going to tell her husband today on this show that she's been a prostitute? Yep. <laughs> How old is their child? Uh, two years old. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's meet you. you. You talk to her. Here's your sister, Angel. First of all, like I told you, give it away. I give pay. Yeah, that makes it all right? Yeah, it makes it all right. Oh, what, what's the difference between me? Watch your language. Me? Beg your pardon? You have to watch your language. Sorry. What's the difference between me? The only difference between me and a married woman is I get mine up front. Oh, and it's okay, if, for example, if your daughter grew up to be a prostitute, that's what you'd want for her? If that's what she chooses to oh, do? Oh, man. It's my daughter. And you know, if she chooses to do oh, that, you don't mean then, that. then there ain't nothing I can do about it. The oh. only thing I can do is try and teach her. Teach her what? Right and wrong. And to get her an education. That's the only thing I can okay. do. Okay. Well, Let's meet your husband. To... Your husband doesn't know anything about that. Are you worried about losing your husband now? No. Oh. Men are like buses. They come around every 10 minutes. Oh. Oh. You married a bus? <laughs> He's about as bright as one. <laughs> well, here he is, Bus Shane. seen a runaway bus like that's in speed. Uh, All right, why are you, wait a second. Have you been, why are you angry? What? Why would I be on Jerry Springer? <laughs> we all know what Jerry Springer's about. We know what it's about. Look at her. She don't dress like that. She don't dress like that. Okay. Not, Not for me. You see. What do you, what, what do you want to tell him? Well. Seems like a reasonable fellow. <laughs> I'm an escort. Bull! Oh. No. Yep. No. Why you... No. How are you going to be married to somebody for seven years? And not know. And not have a clue. I get pages three, four, five, and want to get up and, excuse me, get up and leave. If you don't, seriously, if you don't love him, why did you marry him? I do love him. You do love him? I do love him. Why did you love him? for you all right so what's gonna happen you're but gonna I stay married you. are you gonna stay married to her no. wait a minute she do love you wait a minute we got no whoa 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 no. whoa, whoa. No. When, when you want to do a little piece here and there who ain't got it for you hey you get women for him if he wanted it this is a wonderful marriage we'll be right back My Samantha? Yeah, man. My Samantha? Here's Samantha. I'm helping you guys get Where money.
My guests today say nothing can stop their erotic ways. Please meet Noel. He says he didn't need any guidance landing his new job, but he does need a broker for all the money he's making. What is, what is this new job you have? Well, Jerry, I'm a pimp. Where did you get your degree? <laughs> no, uh, congratulations on that fine. Uh, so what do you mean you're a pimp? I mean, what, man, I've been happen? pimping girls for the last six months. Yeah. I love it, man. I make so much money. You know, it's easy. It's, you know, you don't have to do much and you make a lot of money doing it. So wait, you go up to young women and you say, would you be a prostitute? And they I'll come get to me. Client? They Why come would to they me. Come? Wait a second. They approach me. They approach wait me. Wait a second. Man, bro, man, you guys don't know. Okay, you're hanging around the bowling alley, and uh, <laughs> and these women, <laughs> and these women come up to you and say, "Hey, guy, uh, I was thinking of becoming a prostitute. Could you?" Uh, nah, no, they know happen? me by reputation. Oh, by reputation. Yeah, you're, they approach me. You're a ladies' man. Uh, kinda. Okay. <laughs> I just get them work. Uh, well, I could see why. Um, so, uh, uh, okay, okay. Now, why are you here? What's the story? Well, um, you know, I've been pimping girls for the last six months. Yeah. It's good. You know, there's a uh, Paul. Yes. He's my father. Yes. You know, I respect him enough to call him my father. He's not my real father. Yeah. But um, he's been there since I was. Oh, so he kind of raised you. Yeah. Okay. He brought me up. You know, he taught me stay in school. You know, get a good job, get a good education. He never once said to you, son, why don't you become a pimp? No, I never, no. <laughs> never did. Okay, so yeah. you're here to tell him that. Yes. That you are a pimp. Well, yeah, how's he going to react to that? And uh, I don't know. He might get mad, but, you know, I don't care. The money's good. Money's, money's good. good. Money's good. Money's good. And what else you want to tell him? Uh, tell him my biggest money maker is uh, his girlfriend. <laughs> Well, you tell him. Here he is, your dad, Paul. Okay, welcome to the show. I said his dad. He says he refers to you kind of as dad because you, you helped raise him. Of course, of course. Love him like a son. Yes. And, you know, I brought him up. You took him under your wing? I took and... him under my wing, you know, tried to teach him guidance, you know, everything I kind of learned as I was growing up. Is he a good kid? He's a good kid, yeah. yeah. Love him very much. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm here today, but oh. I'm willing to help in any way I it's can. It's because he's a good kid. Is it because he's a good kid? <laughs> okay, uh, will you talk to him? Look. Well, um, Paul, you know, you've always been there for me and everything since I was a little kid. And I appreciate it, you know, how you raised me, how to treat women how to get a job, you know, everything. But um, I brought you on the show today to tell you I haven't been going to school for the past six months. I've been pimping. You've been what? I've been pimping, man. Making money. <laughs> pimping, man. I mean, pros pimping. Yes, yes. I've been pimping. What? Yeah. What, what are you doing pimping? Man, What do you mean pimping? It, it making what is money. pimping? What are you talking about pimping? Making money, what man. It, women disrespecting women, disrespecting no, yourself? Disrespecting me. What the hell did I man, teach you? First of all, I'm treating women Sit like down. you're talking about. Sit down. What, what the heck are you Man, thinking? I'm treating women like you raised me. Oh, you're treating women? What the hell you taught you think you're treating women Everything like you taught me, I'm treating women like you raised oh. me. Disrespecting women is I'm not, not how I'm disrespecting them. I'm using my mind. Using your everything mind is you going to school. Everything going to school. Me. Everything you taught no, me. Everything I taught you is how to respect women, not disrespect you women. You don't know anything. I do know. You don't know what I'm talking about. None of y'all people know anything, man. What the hell are you thinking? People got to make a living somehow. Oh, by pimping women out. Man, what else, do you, want to, what else do you want to tell them? What else? Well, um, what else? What else could there be? What do you mean, what else? Well, um, one well, of the um, girls, you know him. She's my biggest money maker. And, um, it's your girlfriend, Samantha. What the hell are you thinking? 
it, man. My Samantha? Yeah, man. My Samantha? Here's Samantha. I'm helping you guys get money. Need I Sorry. say more? You're just Sorry. a whore? Yeah, I'm a whore. What do you want me to do? Yeah? This whole time, you're this supposed to be time. my woman. Sorry, you know what? You don't give me everything I need. I give you everything no, you need. No, no, everything no. you've ever asked you for, I've given you. give me you. everything you need. You everything you've asked wrong. for. You're wrong. You if know you what? I need it all, honey. I need it all. Need I need the money. I need the sex. Over her. I need everything. You don't give it to me. Sorry. I give her money. I make my own money. I don't need a broad to make money for me. You know what? And you? You know what? This is not what we came here for. What did we come here we for? We came here to tell me that you're yeah. a whore. To tell you I'm a whore. Never again. Sorry, sorry. Never again. Yeah, you think never. so? I You'll never be on the plane with me, baby. You I don't even want to think of you again. It's I am over. done. I it's am over. Done. We'll be back. I never want to see you again. And I've been doing sexing since then. You've been more than one sexing? More than one? <laughs> Thirteen years. I I know. And you can't this share is, this with this me. This is the thing. That's what I want to. You do. can't I share. I want to share it with you. That's the thing. Thank you very much. You're very nice. Hey. Welcome back. My guests today say they can't be talked out of their sexy ways. Please meet Aaliyah. She says she hopes she can strip away all walls that have been put up by her lover. <laughs> how long have you been stripping walls? No, I mean, uh, how, <laughs> what's going on? I have been dating this girl, Nicole, for the past Ooh. six months. <laughs> yes. We work together. I met her through work. Yes. And I've been cheating on her with another girl. You guys don't even know. You don't even know. So we don't, don't do even yet. know. <laughs> so don't do that yet. Uh, so do you love her? I don't, I don't love her, no. no. I, I, I'm, I don't know her that well to love her. We've only been together for six months. You've just been sleeping together, but you don't really know her. <laughs> well, no, I don't love her. Yeah. Love her, but I mean, I do. Enjoy being with her. Yes. Okay, well, you tell her. Here is Nicole. Uh, Nicole, welcome to the show. Yeah. Uh, you guys have known each other for six months. Mm -hmm. Good relationship? Yeah, we've been kind of fighting lately, but Ooh. I mean, I love her with all my heart. She's my soulmate. Uh, what do you fight over? I don't know, we've been just, a recent fight was over a pair of pants. A pair of <laughs> pants. Yeah, I hate to see that. Um, uh, who won? <laughs> I don't care. No. It doesn't matter. Okay, uh, what do you want to tell her? I don't mind to tell you this for a while, but um, I've been cheating on you. Oh. With Tanya. Tanya from work? Tanya from work. Oh. Whatever, 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 whatever. Don't touch me. Listen, it's, I want you. How can you do that to me? I want you to be with us, okay? You are way too old. Listen, baby, you are way too overprotective of me. We need... We're no, young. No, okay, we're not even, even old there. enough to okay, drink don't yet. Don't even go there. <laughs> you are... Tanya's supposed to be my friend. Tanya is your You're friend, supposed to okay? Be my girlfriend. Baby, I am. I want you to be with us. I mean, have fun with it. How, how can you do that to me? Listen, well, I'm... Well, there's three I'm chairs. Thinking. I'm upset. I'm really upset. Let's bring her out. Here's Tanya. <laughs> Okay, it's, we're young. 
young, okay? We're I just don't want to be. I don't want to be sharing you, okay? You are my girlfriend, and you should. Right. Sorry, Derry. <laughs> you should know better. You know, I have taught you everything I have known. <laughs> How does she know you have the cheating on her? You know, you're never at work. You've been gone. You've never called me. Whenever I call you, you're gone. Never like have you been? You, you never, you never <laughs> want to like. Soulmate. Okay, have, I'm sorry. Have you ever been unfaithful to her? No. Okay. I've never. Oh. Okay. What she's, what you're, it seems to me that you're a lot more serious about the relationship than she is. Obviously. Are, are you, are you going to stay with her rather than? I want to be with I both have of them. I things you can never show her. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Perhaps some card tricks? Yeah. We'll be right back. My guests today say nothing can stop their erotic ways. Please meet Danita. She says it's bizarre how she found her way into her sexy job. She says she hopes her husband won't freak out over it. Oh. Danita, um, two things come to mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, what, what, how did you get into your sexy job? Well, I found that there was something really burning inside me. <laughs> and the last few months, I've been letting it burn. <laughs> and I... They really burn? They burn. It's been burning. Um, <laughs> I've been... Okay, let me know. Let me tell you this. I've been married for 13 years. Yes. And it's become... The relationship's become a little mundane and boring and uh, pretty much the same thing over and over, and um, I went to a porn convention. Ooh. And from there, everything changed. There was no, there was no stamp convention in town, so you were you just decided, I mean, how did you decide to go to a porn convention, just? Uh, well, some girlfriends, it was more, yeah. it was actually more their idea. Yeah. And they're like, you know, you're a sexy woman, come with us. So, so you went I went yeah. with them, and um, I met a guy there. Yeah. He was very charismatic. Um, he was different from the type of guy that my husband is. Um, he was really outgoing, and I did it. I did a sex scene with him. So you want to? Okay. How long? How long have you been married to your husband? Thirteen years. Thirteen years. So this is a serious. Yeah. Yes. This, this is pretty. Uh, his name is Lance. Here's Lance. <laughs> Lance, well, Lance, welcome to the show. You've been married 13 years, she tells yeah. us. Yes. And uh, she told you she was going to this porn convention? She didn't say porn convention. Oh. You went to a porn convention? Yes. Um, oh. After 13 years of marriage? Well, it was... What did you tell him you went to? It was... I told him it was a makeup and hair convention. Oh. There's a... Oh. I, know, I know, I know. I think there's a big difference between them. I, 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 oh, they wear I makeup. Mean, I, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean there is. I um, while I was at the convention, I met a guy. Oh. And um, sorry, I'm getting emotional. Um, I met a guy, and he was really charismatic, and um, I did a sex scene with him. And what? And I've been doing sex scenes since then. You did more than one sex scene? More than one? Thirteen years. I, I know. And you can't this share is, this with this me. This is the thing. That's what I want to do. You can't I want share? I to share it with you. That's the thing. I really have enjoyed doing it. I think I it's like a little, it. It's, I think it's, it's a little fun. bit late to start sharing now. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I've trusted you. I've I 
I, I know, years. I know, and I and I want you. I mean, we've been together since high school, and I put all my trust, my faith. I understand everything that, but, into but you. She changed everything. since she you've known her in high school. <laughs> Our first date, she was 13. I was 15. I guess she's changed. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, this is the thing. I mean, I there's felt, no just the no, thing. No. There's no, there's was, no just the thing. It was getting really boring, and it was like the same thing all the time. We go to the same restaurants. We we do the same I'm thing sorry. all the time. I'm and sorry. I, mean, I have to work every day. And, and, there's and I certain, like it. There's other guy that you. I like it. So you're telling him that you you've been in these sex scenes with the same guy, or? Right. That's the right. one who's it's here. Right. It's been with the right. It's been with this one same guy. And so one let's guy. bring him out. You, yes. <laughs> You're nothing okay, but you don't start yeah, kissing you my wife in front of me. Momentary yeah, distraction. Let's, she's still my wife. Dude. She is Please, still my wife. Let's call it. You, you, you want to do this? this We're going to do it. This is something that I want you to be no. a part of. You I, want me I, to be a part, part of it? So much fun. You want me to be a part of this? I'm sorry. What part of this? Three months ago, when you started doing this, you should have been a part of it. Nowhere. She loves it. I love it. I, dude. You're nothing. You're nothing. You know, you know, I'm more of a man than you'll ever be because I would What's do it What's your name? Freak? Your Is your name Freak? Freak. Okay, okay, I don't want to be disrespectful. It says your name's Freak. Here's Freak. Have a seat. Whatever. Freak. You understand why she's upset, why he's upset. That's you know, his wife. I don't even here. know the guy's name. He's nothing. Freak. <laughs> You're freaking out on me. Okay. Okay, my goal here is to let him know what has been going on, cool, and I would love for him me. to be involved in it, because I'm not yes. quitting the business, but because I enjoy it, things are going well, I'm getting in magazines now, I mean, websites, it's the whole nine yards. Yeah, that's what we plan, we plan exactly, the whole exactly. nine websites, eternal, slutty, nasty, filthy sex. And, that's exactly. what we do. and I don't care if you go with him or not, I don't care, I don't want to go with You can go with anybody here, anybody in audience, Jerry, Jerry, she can go with you, I don't want her. You have to leave, okay? Girl, you, Chubbs, there, I think that you... I do have a name, please. And, and you don't have teeth either. But all I'm saying... To your child, I feel so sorry for her. And you holding her hand, I pity you. I told totally oh, no, no. you. No, 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 no. My you job both. has nothing to do with the type of parent if I you're am. You're gangster, wanna be no. self. Go my home. job has go nothing home to your kid and try to and be do a mom. With the okay, type and get some parent I am. This is for uh, Al Roker's evil twin in the back row there. Who buys pornos with you in it, dude? Come on. <laughs> Bro, you ever slept with your mom? You sound like it. You sound like you have. You sound like you slept with your mom. Oh, okay, just tell the weather, Al Roker. That's all right. Jerry, you said there's 25 million people watching this. So um, my question is for the two women who are the webpage. Could you stand up, please? And I think I speak for um, a majority of the 25 million men. Could both of you jump up and down for me? <laughs> Questions. I really had four questions and you just answered two of them. So um, the third question of that would be, um, could you jump up and down for me? <laughs> I want to know what's bigger, Steve's head or the girl behind him? It's, it's real though. <laughs> My 
questions for Mr. Pimp. I know pimping ain't easy, but you made it look real bad. And what will you do for Big Mac? What will you do for Big Mac? Um, like I got to say, if you got to ask, you can't afford it. My comment is for Miss Lady right here with the leopard on. Yes, ma'am. You claim you getting so much paper uh -huh. escorting. You need to get your grill fixed, boo. <laughs> Okay. This can be fixed. At least I don't look like I'm on no stem fast. For the, for the guy in the white shirt, you should call 1-800-DIVORCE-MAN. <laughs> the three lesbians in the front, the third one, are, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay and go with them, too? Or? We wanted to. I don't think it's going to happen, though. No? Are you... What was the answer? I'm sorry. No. You're not going to go with No, okay. I wouldn't go with that. I'll be back with a final thought. Stay with us. Uh, let me take this opportunity to thank all of you for being with us, and good luck in the uh, choices that you make, and I hope it doesn't have a negative effect on your relationships. Good luck to you. You know, my guess is there is a part of each of us that no one ever gets to know. There's nothing wrong with that. It's the innermost core of who we are. But what someone in your life does have a right to know, for which you have no right to keep secret, is that which, if they did know, might change their mind about whether or not they want to be with you. You do have an obligation to reveal that even before you ever appear on the Jerry Springer Show. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. And we just want to tell you that your show is off the hinges, son. <laughs> Keep doing it, baby. Keep it real. We came all the way from New York to see it, and we did it. Word up. <laughs> Jerry, 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 Jerry. Please. Love you, show. Welcome to the show. My guest today say someone's cheating them out of love and they're not losing this game. Please meet Tanisha. She says there's another woman playing house with her man. Tanisha, what is going on? Well, Jerry, I've been with my boyfriend, Leon, for six months. 
We have a wonderful relationship. I'll be at his house most of the time just cooking meals for him, giving him massages, yeah. everything that he, I know he likes, and doing his hair and everything. The only main thing that I feel in our relationship will cause a problem is he has too many female friends. One female friend I think he's messing around with. Why, why do you think that? Because she stayed right across the street from him. In the beginning, I only seen her like twice out in the beginning about me being with him only twice. Lately, she's over there every day. I know she stayed right across the street. When I call him from work, she's over there. When I'm over there, here she comes knocking at the door. Now, do you talk to him about your concern about that girl? Yeah. And what does he say? He says that um, he feel I'm being insecure, of course. So he's denying that he's doing he's anything He's denying that, yeah, she's just a friend. But I feel it's more than a friend because she's always there. She's doing, she's taking off her Has he position. cheated on you before? Not that I know of, Not no. that you know of. So he could be telling the truth. Yeah, he could be. Well, let's find out. Here is Narita. <laughs> Hi, Narita. Welcome to the show. How you doing? Good. Um, so you guys know each other. Yeah. And you seem upset. Why? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. What do you want to say to her? I'm coming on the show to tell Narita, you. I just want to know... Um, I know you're Leon's friend. Mm -hmm. Y'all been friends for a long time before I came in the picture. You always at his house cooking up the food I bought for him. Mm -hmm. You always just over there in the refrigerator. And I just want to know what's going on. You always get mad, like, when I come over and I'm cooking. Because you're always over there. Okay, but I can come over and cook. I've been knowing him 12 years before you even came around. I'm saying you should respect the fact that he has a woman. I mean, if he's spending time with his woman, why would you still want to come in the house and be all in the refrigerator cooking for him if you know he's spending time with me? Okay, but is that your problem to worry well, about? That's you. Leon's yes, problem. That's Leon's problem to tell me if he don't want me there or not. Well, you've uh, been well. around the refrigerator, too, with him, I'm sure. I mean, you know what I mean by that? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying... Yeah. In other words, you know, you're cooking meals with him as well. And, mm -hmm. But, but you, that's my position. I'm his I woman. See. I see. For you just to be his friend, why are you always the one that's always in, you know, the refrigerator, always cooking, always calling him on the phone, always wanting him to go with you somewhere? I mean, I'm just wondering what's going on. Well, if you really want to know, you and Leon been together six months. Out of that six months, we've been messing around three months. I'm going to continue messing with him, and there ain't nothing you're going to do about it. Leon takes care of my son. Leon treats me right. Leon takes me out. Leon likes me a lot. He don't like you. And that's what you right.
Why are why are you angry at her? Because this need her. This bitch kills him and cheating on her all the time. She would well, meet everybody he else. Even, even, when, he is, even right? when that bitch on top of me to say that bitch hurt him. That's bitch. Lie. Bitch. That's a lie. He love all he this. Ain't nothing but a bitch. He love all this. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. We shall we'll see. <laughs> That's all that was. I mean, you, you always, just a fling. Just a fling. You always accuse me of being a uh, Every time that you accuse me, what you think? I'm, I ain't just gonna sit up there and do it. So you gonna go do it because I accused you of doing it, right? Yeah. And I already told what you kind this of stuff in the that? beginning. What kind of stuff is I that? You talking about you don't trust me, this and that. Why are you lying, Leon? What you mean? Why are you Can lying? Let's hold it back. I mean, you always lie to me. Back up, man. Back up. No, you shut up. Hey. Excuse what you me? mean? This is my girl. Okay. You know okay. this is my girl. Okay. This is my girl. Okay. So, but you already know how it is. Yeah. How is it? How is it? Sorry. Look, I was. How did that bitch do for you tonight? All it was was a lie. That's all it was. That's all it was. I did, bitch. Man. Move away from me. Get away from me, man. You lie. You a liar. How you feel? Sorry, you what you take? You take care of my baby. You lie. Said, oh, you gonna be there for me and my baby? You don't want her. But you ready? Know all that you know. Know. like that's that bitch. All it was. Twelve years we've been knowing each other. Yeah, yeah, and that's all. That's years. how you feel about me. You gonna always be the homie regardless. I ain't here. Why you did me that? Tell her you love and want to marry her. Oh yeah, that's my girl. Exactly. Yeah, you want to marry me? That's, that's what. Humping, Jerry teeth, mess, lip up, lip. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That's my girl. Cool. 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 What? I'm cool on status. Oh, bring me on the show. You embarrass me like that. That's cool. Embarrass yourself. That's cool. Yeah, cool. You embarrass yourself. How am I embarrassing myself? I've been knowing you 20 years. You've been lying to me. Tell me you just you using her. Know. You telling me you just using her for the money when she go to work. She buy you clothes. She buy you this. She give you gab stuff. You giving it to me? We cook it jambalaya. It's your lies. All that. Shit, you all on, about bro. me doing a damn thing and you want to marry this bitch? Cool. You think I don't? Cool. You think the I way don't? you was telling me, the way you was acting when she had a round. But yeah, you but were, you were didn't know story. how I was going down. No, I didn't know, but now no, I know. you didn't know. Yeah, you can talk all year, you do all that. No. It's cool. I'm going to let you go on with that fat bitch. Uh, I'm going to let you go on. That's how it's going to be. Yeah, you can have that. That's how it's going to be. You can have that because I can like get that. somebody. I can get somebody. Please go ahead. I am. Go ahead. I am. I am. Because this my face, this though. is mine right After there. After this, join me. I don't care. I don't care. We'll be back.
Well, you did a great guess. Yeah, good job, guys. Good hey, job. what are you looking at? My guests today say that young love's got a hold on them. Please meet Victoria. She has a secret for a boyfriend, and it's not the surprise he's expecting. Victoria, what is going on? Um, well, I'm 18, and I've been with the same guy since, I, like, for four years now. Wow. We have um, one kid together, yeah. and I'm currently five months pregnant now. Um, he lately has been bitching at me all the time. Like, um, like if I get morning sickness, he yells at me if... Um, Pretty much, if because I don't dress up like I used to, like I wear sweatpants and I yeah. just lounge. Any bitches at me, and we pretty much don't do anything together. So um, his friend has been there for me, and I actually slept with his friend like a couple months ago. Oh, but his friend is not the father of your child. To oh be. no, no. Okay, so he's clearly the father. You've had two children with him, and you're only 18. Yeah, correct. And why? And so you're saying you started to sleep with his friend because he wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, attention. well, um, well, we only slept together one time. Yeah. Now, I do love Anthony. like um, Anthony being your boyfriend. Yeah, the father yeah. of my children. Um, I love him with all my heart, but the only thing is, is he thinks that, like, I'm always going to be here, that I'm not going to leave him and that he could just treat me however he wants to. And he needs to realize that, you know, I can be with other people, you know, even though I have other kids, I'm still young and I, I have sure. a life. Well, let's bring him out. I'll let you tell him. Here is your boyfriend, Anthony. <laughs> Hey, Anthony. <laughs> hey, Anthony, welcome to the show. How you doing, Jerry? <laughs> so, uh, you guys have been going together, it's, it sounds like four years or something. I mean, you were, you were in junior high when you were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, daggone it. <laughs> uh, okay, and now, uh, how's your relationship going? Mm, pretty good, not not the best. Oh, you say not the best. Why not? The bitter and the bickering. Oh, there's a lot of bickering going on. Yeah. Yeah. Over what? Over what kind of things? Stupid stuff like her like getting sickness and I'm not jumping up to get the trash can soon enough. Stupid stuff. Well, if she's pregnant, she may have sickness from time to time. Yeah. You know that. I understand yeah. that. Okay. Uh, do you love her? Yes, I do. Oh, do you tell her you love her? Yes, I do. Okay. Seems like a nice guy. Not but certain. How'd you get her pregnant, Dwight? <laughs> okay. No, it happens. It happens. I'm just teasing. I'm playing with you. Okay, but what do you want to say to him? Um, you know I love you. Uh-huh. And you know how um we've been arguing lately and um just about every pretty much everything I do and um, I slept with Victor a couple months ago. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because, I don't know. That was my reaction. Huh? <laughs> we, um, we were just at a party and, I don't know, you just, you haven't been there. You want to meet? But let's, let, do you know this guy? <laughs> All right, here he is, Victor. How you doing, Jerry? Hey, Victor, I'm doing fine. How you been? All right. Uh, this is your friend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that. What do you want to say to him? What do you want to say to Victor? Because I'd be interested in hearing you talk. Uh... <laughs> He's not a friend if he's gonna screw my old lady. Oh, wait a minute, man. Huh? You don't even get it right. Yeah. You know, you don't. Admit it, you're always bitching at her and stuff like that, calling her a bitch and stuff. Come on, man. But yeah, I do call her a bitch, but sometimes she does be acting like a bitch. No, she isn't. <laughs> well, not, she not what you not me, you. she's not bitching. Did you feel a little bit bad since this is your buddy? And he seems like a nice guy. Mm. Did you feel bad that... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. 
this guy, you know what I mean? I didn't want to break up the relationship, sure. you know what I mean? But the guy treats her and I got sick of it. So that's why I'm here. I want to let him know. And I want to be with her. How do you like that? Because you know why? Because I know I can treat it better. You have three choices. You can like it a lot. <laughs> you can say, eh, it doesn't much matter. Or, oh, I'm really upset. <laughs> yeah, I'm upset, Jerry. Okay. But, but hey, what's the most I can do about it? Yeah, I have two kids to worry. <laughs> well, that's her decision. I ain't going to sit there and pound on her because she doesn't want to be with me. I ain't going to sit here and bawl my eyes out because she don't want to be with me, Jerry. Seriously. Well, that's a good... He's right. What do you want to say? Honestly, he seems like a really well, nice guy. Well, there you go. Then that means you don't really love her. If you don't really... I do love her. I love her with all my heart, but there's more fish out in that world for me. Seriously, I... Right? Like, seriously, Jerry, this ain't the only first time she cheated on me. She cheated on me, like, two years ago. Oh, is seriously, that true? Yeah. I do love you. Well, and you that's some heart. weird love to me. I never heard of that love. <laughs> you smart guy. I'm not him. I don't know about him what his love is, but go ahead. If he likes to cheat it on and everything else, then, hey, you can have it. We'll be back. Thank you. Welcome back. My guests today say their home is being wrecked from the inside out. Please meet Tina. She says she's tormented by her boyfriend's romantic past. Tina, what is going on? Hi, Jerry. Well, actually, Sean and I have been together for about six months now. And uh, we've had a relatively great relationship up to this point. Um, but within the last month or so, uh, we've had to move his son's mother into our home. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, Jerry Springer's story is what they've been telling us for like, you know, months anyway. Well, we certainly <laughs> appreciate person. it. But no, okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so he had an ex-girlfriend. Yes. They have a child together. Yes. And now you're saying even though he's finished with her, you said she could move into the house. Well, what's going on is just that it's becoming more and more of a concern to me that, you know, she spends so much time oh, trying... You think she's back sleeping with him? That's what I think. Have you, con you know, he's your boyfriend, so are you saying to him, hey, wait a second, is there anything going on here? Yeah, he just says I'm paranoid, oh, you know, okay. and blows me off, and that, that kind of pisses me off anyway, you know. I mean, it, yeah. it's my feelings right there, and, and it just, it really kind of adds to the concern. Okay, so. well, I tell you what, why don't we bring her out here, and you can ask her directly. Here is his ex-girlfriend who now lives in the home with you, yes. Melody. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Melody. Welcome to the show. Oh, there you are. Yeah. How you doing, Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy in the suit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how long have you been going with him, with your um, ex-boyfriend? We were together two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. Okay, well, you, what do you want to ask her? Well, I want to ask you why it is that, you know, you seem to feel that you have the right to be so interested in Sean's personal life, why you feel the need you have, why you feel the need to come to our bedroom door and bang on it at eight o'clock in the morning? Because you claim... you're supposed to get up with our son. I am not supposed well, to do Sean anything. Is. Sean is supposed to do it from Thursday through Sunday. The truth of the matter is, she doesn't want us to have sex. Oh yeah. Okay, it's easier for her to come Tell in and knock, 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 knock. You know. <laughs> you're just he got with me. He's got a job. He pays his bills. He is so good to me, and you can't stand it. It bugs you, doesn't it? It just gets your goat. Let's bring him out. Here's Sean. What's up? What are you looking at? Hi, Sean. Hey, Jerry. How you doing? Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, it's a it's a strange relationship. I mean, because you obviously loved her at one time. Yeah. Uh, that broke off, and uh, now you're with her, but she's living back in the house with you. Right. It, does that seem awkward to you, or? It's very awkward. It is very awkward. But she needed a place to go, and like uh, I couldn't see her staying somewhere that's pretty much unfit, you know, for our son. So we basically opened our door for her and told her she could come and stay with us. Well, what do you want to tell her? Yeah, 
question. I'm going to want to tell me. Uh, one, one night you went to ladies night and I was like, Tina, can I go with you? And you were like, no, it's just ladies night. You know, it is just, just ladies night. We've had this right, conversation right. before, son. Well, uh, but, you know, that's Anyways, that night all kinds of people came over and we were partying and Melody was there <clears throat> and we were like talking and we kissed and then one thing, we had sex and I cheated on you. He doesn't love you that much, does he? <laughs> Excuse me, Jerry. Okay. You are such a liar. Tina, I'm sorry. I don't believe anything that comes out of your mouth anymore, Sean. Why? One mistake. Everything is perfect up till one moment when you come on TV to tell me you've been messing around with the whore that ruined your life in the first place. <laughs> Stop for five seconds to hear anything I've got to say. Go on, Sean. You got five seconds. One, Starting two, now. Three, four, five. Time's over. <laughs> do you want to be with him? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. Yes. Make your pitch. Melody, it only happened one time, and I'm sorry, but it was a horrible mistake. Because, like, I live my life for my son and Tina, and... If you lived your life for Tina, you wouldn't have cheated on her. Good point. Well, it was... I have to agree with her on one thing, at least. You know? You know, we... We were together for two and a half years, Sean. That doesn't mean I anything. I love you. Look and what you, you told did me you me. loved me. You went behind... We you told sex. all kinds of people, all kinds of... ...about me. All this, like, I'm scum... What's gonna happen now? You don't want to be with her? No. I don't want to be with her at all. Well, maybe you should have gone with her. Maybe. It's a hell of a lot easier than coming on TV to tell me that you've been with her. Because I'm not sure I even want to go home with you now. But you do love him. I do love him. I love him right now, but I'm so angry at him. So maybe you'll take him back. Maybe. We'll be back. today are ready for their lovers to shape up or ship out. Please meet Toby. He says he's been keeping it in the family. Toby, what is going on? <laughs> How you doing, Jerry? How you doing? Good. Uh, I got a little secret to tell my girlfriend today. She, I mean, we've been together a few years, you know, yeah. we've been having a little rocky relationship, you know, in a few years. Do you have any children? Yeah, we have an 18-month-old little boy together. Okay, and yeah. you love her? Not right now, I don't know. As of now, I really don't know what it, what's going on as far as the love situation goes. I mean, because, like I said, we've had some rocky times. She's cheated on me. I've been in, in and out of jail a few times, you know, during... <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, and every time and she I... she cheats to, on you when you go to jail? Basically, yeah. She, che <laughs> she cheated on me. She cheated on me every time. Have you, you cheated know? on her while you were in jail? <laughs> She, uh, yeah. you know, she's cheated on me okay. every time I went to jail and everything, you know, and that's made and So me... you're here basically to... T <laughs> so you're here to basically tell her that... Yeah, I've been sleeping with her sister for the last six months. Oh! Yeah, and the last Whoa. time was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Uh, 
how did this how did it all start well I'm a, I'm a mechanic by trade her sister needed some brakes done on her car and she called me up and asked me you know can you come over and fix the brakes on my car and everything and I was like well yeah I'll be over there you know and and you're there and you know you fix the brakes and I'll fix the brakes and she's just and one that yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's bring out your girlfriend, and you tell her. Here's your girlfriend, Hillary. Oh. Hi, Hillary. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, five years, you said you guys have been together? Five years. How would you describe the relationship? All right. Good. Everything goes okay. Do you love him? Yes. Well, you know, I, I, we we come out here uh, to Jerry because I got a secret to tell you. I, I've been sleeping with your sister for the last six months. Wow. Why? Because you're a controlling bitch. I'm a controlling bitch. Yeah, you won't even let me. I can't even go to my mom's house. You're just too controlling. I don't know what uh, what, you, what do you want to do about the situation. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Nothing. I'm leaving. Oh, you're leaving. No, you're leaving. Well, let's okay. meet the sister. How, what's your relationship with your sister before I bring her out? We before just, this, I mean, you know. Before this, well, we've been fine. We've been re rebuilding our relationship back up for the past six months. Has I haven't talked to her in five years. Oh, you hadn't talked to her. Has she ever done anything like this no. to you before? No. No. Okay. All right. Well, here she is, Tressa. Like what? He I know that? Yeah. Whatever. All you do is sit and bitch at him all day. That's all yeah. you do. I bet and let him play video games. Bitch. He needs a woman that's gonna make him his ass get out and do what he's supposed to do. No! What do you do when he's in jail? What do you gotta do? What do you, what do you do when he's in jail, huh? I just hate on him. Why is that? Why is because that? Because you're not a woman yet. This yeah, is a woman. This is a woman. little girl. No, I Be am a woman. a woman. I am a woman. Are you going to sit up and put up? I have No. A... What are you going to do? Just stand over there and say nothing? <laughs> uh, hey. Huh? You got the one going after each other? Yeah? You want to know how it started? Huh? Yeah. You want to know how it started? Yeah. Came over to fix my car. Yeah, and I ended up getting a Well, I kind of And I got my tires rotated. I kind of said that. Bet you got a lot more rotated than that, too. Yeah. Ask me. I believe it. I think they rotated all the tires. I'm just thinking. Sorry, he ain't nothing but a sweat. All right. No, no pushing. Uh, <laughs> here's the question. In fairness, this is your sister. She's had a five-year relationship. They have a child together. Wouldn't you feel a little bit, mm, maybe I shouldn't do this? No, because I don't have a, a sister relationship with her. Oh. Well, no, I, I see don't. her more as a friend. More as a friend, okay. Yeah. And, and, but you have cheated on him. Yeah. Well, how angry can you be if you I can't be too angry about it, but, you know, he's, he does have a kid by me. Yeah. And if he's going to do it, he needs to be a man and tell me he don't want to be with me no more. Is that Instead what you're of coming to me, crying to me. Telling me he wants to be with me. He wants to make things work he don't out. Be, he don't want to be with you because you don't. You don't, you're not a woman. Okay. Well, who do you, well, that's a good point. Who do you want to be with? Uh, right now, Jerry, I don't know. I can let you know in about five. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know?
question for a guy in a striped shirt right there. Right there? Yeah. Hey, what? You got a nice looking wife there? And we ask a question, and you're standing there like an ignorant guy. Can't you? Why don't you take care of her? You let a, your best buddy take her and screw her. What the hell? If I, hey, if I had a girl like that, I'd be knocking on her door too. Mate, man. Sit down, old man. Oh, it's old man. Old man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, man. You're, you should look in the mirror, man. Your hair looks scuzzy. Yeah, okay. Sit down before I slap you. I'll show him. Sit down before I slap you. You know what? I said, sit down before I slap you. Hey. Put some more on grass Come down here. Hey, let, I'll let you slap me. When you do, I'll turn the yellow cheek, and then I'm going to go knock on your woman's yeah, door. Okay. You couldn't handle her. You couldn't hey. handle her. You couldn't hey. handle her. Okay, no slapping. Hello, i just like to ask the fella with the gray shirt in the front why you have chosen Shamu when you can have the Little Mermaid. Come in for Anthony. Anthony, you need to put on some tighter underwear. Let <laughs> pop out and go there and kick his Mayberry ass, okay? <laughs> and can I get some Jerry beads? comment for the guy that let his ex-wife move back in. I say you just uh, bring them both in the bedroom and have some fun. <laughs> if you want her, you can have her. This is for the guy in the Opie Taylor shirt. <laughs> you said, you said you couldn't get, no. you said that you couldn't get the trash can to her soon enough. I think you should put her in the trash. <laughs> I'll slap you. <laughs> yeah, my comment is for the big Shamu there. Next time you come on TV, oil your feet, baby. Oil your feet. take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show. Thanks for not slapping me. And uh, I hope everything works out for all of you. You know, one of the problems with love is that there's no control. You're constantly at the mercy of the person you love, desperately hoping he or she loves you back. And the day they don't, no argument, no plotting, no fighting or competing with the other man or woman will make one bit of difference. Love is not a conscious exercise. We love who we love involuntarily. We can't help who we love. Sometimes it's against all reason. We just do. Nor can we force ourselves or others to love someone we or they no longer do. The pain of such circumstances is deep, but the longer we try and hold on, the longer the pain persists. But for winning an argument or simply acting out your anger, when it's over, it's over. And fighting won't change a thing. Move on and find someone who'll love you back. You deserve it. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that, you know, you dumped that girl because I don't think she's good for you. Yeah. You seem like a nice guy. Yeah. Hey, Steve, what's up? Hey, what are you looking at? I'll slap you. I'll slap you. <laughs> Man, you got a real aggression problem. Good job, buddy. Hey, what are you looking at? I'll slap you. <laughs> Man, you got to lighten up or something. Yeah.
Yeah. So you got, got, got a lot of great yeah, got worked today up? Today was a hard day for me, Steve. Man, you're pretty good yeah. with this, slapping. Yeah. Wow. I'm one of the best in my town. Man, I'll tell you, I never <laughs> had a guy slap me. Cool, well, you're you a great guest. Yeah, good job, guys. Good hey, job. what are you looking at? so nice i'm gonna come in again hey hey today's guests say they need to come clean with the truth that they've been leading a double life now they're here to say i'm leaving you for my secret lover please welcome angel to the show angel uh, hi welcome to the show uh, what's your story? What's going on? Well, um, I've been... <laughs> I've been seeing somebody for seven to nine months now. His name is Elijah. Um, he doesn't know I've been sleeping with somebody else. I don't know what is going to be his reaction. You know what I mean? If I really don't care. He can... Um, you are... On this show, you always have to ask. Um... <laughs> You are a drag queen? Is yes, that I'm a drag queen. You're a drag queen. <laughs> um, okay, so you are now with someone else, but yes. your ex wants you back. Is that what's going on? Yes, he wants me back. For, I don't want him back. You don't want him. <laughs> your, ex, your ex doesn't know about your current lover. No, he doesn't know. No clue. And your current lover... They don't know. They your don't current know lover doesn't other. know about your ex. No, they don't know. <laughs> Let's meet your uh, ex, Elijah. <laughs> Elijah, welcome to the show. How long you guys known each other? Nine months to a year. And, and it's been going great. And I just want to tell him that, you know, I still love him. You know, even though I cheated on you, but um, you cheated on him just once. Please, not once, twice, it's twice, not once, twice, once. Uh, -uh. uh, but you still love him? I still love him. I still love him. You two talk to each other. Well, Alasha, I bring you to the show to tell you that the nine months to close to you we've been together. You cheated me with a woman. Um, <laughs> what? When I can be all you woman. You can't cheat with a woman on our show. The best <laughs> I can't trust you no more. I don't, whatever you told me, it's like saying you cannot. I don't believe you no more, whatever you have to say to me. Um, I have somebody else. And uh, he doesn't know about you, like you don't know about him. Who's he at? He's... Yeah. he's... Yeah. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. You can't be angry at, at, at this other one because oh. he doesn't know about you. I don't care. <laughs> Trina!
All right. Well, this is the first, Trina, this is the first that you found out that... Yes. When was the... Uh, uh, uh. Angel, when was the last time that you were with Elijah? <sighs> Let me catch my breath. Sure. He never was. He was always at the bar. Shut up, bitch. He never was. He was always at Kate, the bar anyway. Whatever. He was always at the Go bar. Go suck somebody else's... <laughs> Whatever. 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 Okay, why don't you, uh, excuse me, stand up for a second. Why don't you give that back? Did you want this back? You, you want yeah, they need it. Yeah. Oh, I need it. Gosh. Okay. This is the first time we've ever done a show at a water park. Okay. So what's happened here? What's happened to this one? Oh, I'm done. What do you want? I'm done. And especially. So never come off your fingers. say they are tired of the people they're with uh, and so they're here to tell them that the relationship is over. Okay, meet Scott. Scott says he needs to tell his fiance that the wedding's off because he's leaving for someone else. Oh. Scott, you're ready to get married and you're leaving? Yeah. What? Tell me about that. Well, I've been with Kelly for a year and a half and the past three months I've been sleeping with another man and I just tell the wedding's off. Oh. You're engaged, you're engaged to this woman, Kelly, and you're about to tell her the wedding's off because you're sleeping with a man? Yes, Jerry, that's right. <laughs> you're a tough crowd. Okay, so uh, why would you be engaged to her if you like men? Because I didn't know that until three months ago. I've never been with men before. Really? I mean, this is like the first guy you've ever been with? Yes, it is, and it's what, great. What prompted that? You're walking down the street, you see a guy, you say, whoa! Yeah. Jerry, 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 no, no, no. He didn't say he liked me. It's this other guy. Come on. No. Well, she knows she's here to hear something about the relationship. She's agreed to be told. Here's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Welcome to the show. Hi. How long have you guys been engaged? Well, we've been dating for 18 months. I guess we engaged maybe past eight, I think. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and how's the relationship going? It's been actually pretty good. You know, um, we've had our ups and downs and everything, but we're going to get married in June in Las Vegas. And you love him? Of course. Oh. <laughs> have, you, have you always been attracted to redheads? I mean, why are you... Uh... <laughs> um, maybe it's because my, my color is red, too. I don't know. Okay. But you, you just love each other? Yeah. Okay, well, it's a very romantic audience. <laughs> um, okay, you. You, you know you're here because he wants to talk to you, so go ahead. Um, I'll stay out of it. Well, Kelly, you know, we've been together a year and a half. It's yeah. been great, but the past three months, I need to call the wedding off because I've been sleeping with a man the past three months. <laughs>
men's room. Do you care? I don't care. I, I do. I don't care. 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 Listen, really, you 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 gotta you gotta get out. There's men that they're gonna come in here. I don't care. Use the bathroom. Let's go back to the studio. I'm not going out here, Steve. Jimmy, take her back to the studio. Come on. Psycho. All right, all right, man. She's gone. She's gone. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to. Anyone else like to be a guest on the show? <laughs> Okay. Any uh, anytime you need to go to the bathroom, you just raise your hand. Uh, who is this guy? That's a roommate of ours. A roommate. Let's meet him. Let's bring him out. His name is John. John, welcome to the show. Uh, you knew he was engaged. Yeah, I know, but... What? So th <laughs> Things just kind of happen. How did you I guys mean... meet? I mean, he says he's never been with a guy before. He's engaged to her. All of a sudden, he's walking down the street. He meets you, and he falls in love with you. Tell me how No, that... no, no, no. We've been friends for a while, and um, I, I kind of got stuck, and I had to move into their place, and it just, like, sort of... I don't know. It was, it was nice. Did you ever steal her nail polish? <laughs> Well, you are, I'm joking around, but you've heard her. I mean, she's thinking she's getting married to you. You come on national television, tell her not only are you not getting married, but you're sleeping with another guy. Yeah, I know. If I would have known this before, it would never happen. Oh, gee, thank you. What do you want to... What do you want to say to him? All I say is when the last gets home, everyone's getting your... will never come off your fingers. with their relationships and are moving on with their new lovers. Okay, please meet Renee. She says it's time she tells her boyfriend that she's been sleeping with his best friend. Oh! Renee, what's going on? Well, me and my boyfriend, Billy, we've been together for about two years now, and I've been cheating on him with his best friend. Oh! How, long, how 
long has the cheating been going on? For about a month. For a month. Well, how did it come about? What happened? Well, Billy, he hadn't been around for a while. He's working nights and all, and his best friend and all live down the street, and he'd always come over. And it just happened. Well, I'm going to let you tell your boyfriend. Here's your boyfriend, Billy. Uh, Billy, you can sit next to her. There you go. Okay. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, how long have you guys been together? About two years. Two years now. Okay. How did you meet? Um, friends, cousins. Like Through that. friends, cousins. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, <laughs> it's always those cousins. So, uh, and, uh, well, you know you're here. She wants to talk to you. But do you love her? I mean, how's it going? Yeah, you know, I love her and everything. You know, I hell, I've been with her for two years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, you talk, you talk to him. You wanted to. Billy, we've been together for two years, and I do love you and all, but I've been cheating on you with your best friend. <laughs> I got something to tell you, too. Uh, I've been sleeping around, too. Okay, let's meet. Uh, he knows the person you've been sleeping with? It's his best friend, Trent. Bring him on out. Trip. Welcome to the show. Why would you be sleeping with your best friend's girlfriend? She's a bitch. Oh. We'll be right back. joined us. Uh, Renee told her boyfriend of two years, uh, Bill, uh, that she's been cheating on him, at least for the last month, with his best friend, Trip. So obviously Bill's uh, pretty upset about that. Um, and yet, Bill, you had something you wanted. You had told us before that you haven't been exactly faithful. Oh, no. Hey, <laughs> punk ass. I've been sleeping with your late, your woman. <laughs> So your girlfriend is Tiffany. 
Your girlfriend is Tiffany. Was. She, she didn't, was? Well, she's been backstage watching this. Let's bring her out. Here's Tiffany. Yeah. Renee, why are you upset with her? She is supposed to be my best friend. But you're... She may be your best friend, but you've been sleeping with your boyfriend's best friend. What do you want? Why would you be doing that to your best friend? Why? Because she's... What? I just. So you don't want. To no, I. I want to be with him. I love him to death. Who? Trip. Oh. Why are you sitting over there? Yeah. Wait a second. I'm confused. Okay, you guys talk because I'm confused. You say you love Trip to death, and yet you're sleeping with his best friend Bill. Renee, you're saying that you love Bill, but you're sleeping with his best friend Trip. <laughs> I guess the way to sleep with you guys is not to be your friends. Help me out. You got to admit this is pretty weird. What's going on? Well, you get lonely when people's never there. Yeah. Renee, who are you going to be with? I don't know. What? I don't know. You don't know? I, I love Billy, but... I want to be with Trip. You love Billy, but you want to be with Trip. Trip, what do you want? <laughs> Go ahead. I know we're going through a lot of problems on both ends, but I'm telling you. I want. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. This box is broke. But if you'll have this, I promise it'll never come off your finger. are finding out the truth about their lovers cheating ways please meet cynthia now cynthia says that for the past month she's been having an affair with a married man oh. notice how i always whisper when i say those things uh cynthia what's going on hi um well i'm dating this married guy that i've met him like in 96 and we dated for like two or three months off and on and i got bored like in december so i decided to call him back and we've been kicking it for like the last three months. And but I'm you know he's married. I mean, I don't care. Why not? I mean, would you want someone to do that to you? I mean, if I find out about it, I mean, I just have to get with him. I don't care about nobody being married. What does he tell you about his wife? He told me that she's a bitch and he's ready to leave her. She gets rid of her. Ooh. Now, his wife doesn't know about you. No, but she's going to find out today. Okay. 
She's agreed to come on the show and find out something about her relationship. So let's bring her out. How about a nice hand for Tamika? Hi, Tamika. Tamika, welcome to the show. And uh, you are married to, what's his name, Herman? Herman. Herman. And uh, you're here on the show because you're going to find out something about your marriage. Is right. That, right. This, you don't know this woman. Her name is Cynthia. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cynthia, what did you want to say to Tamika? Well, I came on the show to let you know that um, I've been sleeping with your husband for the last three months. <laughs> Continue to sleep with them because it's all good. Right. Why? Why are you angry at her? What did she ever do to you? you she ain't do nothing to me. You're sleeping with her husband. She so should what? be mad at you. What? You what? <laughs> Let's bring him out. Here's Herman. Herman, what are you doing? You're married to her. You're sleeping with her. What's going on? I ain't nothing going on. I just don't want to be with her no more. I want to be with Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia my girl. I want to be with Cynthia now. I want to be with her. Why the not? The girl is crazy. The girl is crazy. I don't want to be with her no more. She always on my bad sh- Bad ass. You need to be with her. Cynthia no, like it ain't it. all yeah, good. Cynthia like it, though. Fat ass. Yeah. You married him? When did you? Did yeah, you, you married me, him? so I must not be Why did too you marry bad. her? Why did you marry her? Because I thought I was in love with her, but now I know I'm not. Okay. <laughs> want a divorce? Yeah, she know I want a divorce. I don't give a Well, whatever. Whatever. I used the excuse to move back home with my mama talking about I'm going back to school, but so we'll I'm with your mama. that's when we hooked back up. What you say? What you say? You heard me. No, I ain't hear you. What? You heard her. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> you heard what she said? She said, she said, I want to hear you. We'll be right back. Yeah, because she don't want you no more.
comment for the lady in the red. You're pretty, you don't need him, and you, you better keep a leash on him because he was checking out me and my friend during the commercial break. So you better keep a leash on him. Hi, I would like to know which one is the lady and which one is the man. You sound more, like more of the bitch than she do. You have the fat bubble pot. You have the fat bubble pot. And you heard what she said. She tired of your big butt rolling all over her. They're going to break the camera. Yeah, my question's for Scott. Okay, bitch. How come you're going <laughs> to diss Kelly like that on national TV when you could have done this at home, told her in her house? How are you going to do that to her and bring that on TV? Yeah. Kelly look a hell of a lot better than that. <laughs> <laughs> striped shirt it looks like he's got so much animosity he's the type of guy would walk into mcdonald's and start blasting i got the cure for him i got the cure for him i think you should get hooked up with tweety pie right in front of you the guy with the purple uh lips. All y'all foul. All y'all foul. Y'all might as well just stop each other to be honest. Sit down. opportunity to uh, thank all of you for being with us. I hope you're able to move on to uh, more peaceful relationships from here and not, and not be hurt as much as you were in these relationships. Good luck to you. You know, unfortunately, there's no good way to get dumped, though honor and character suggest that if you've had a relationship with someone, they have the right to hear that it's over and the reason why and to hear it from you before you start messing with somebody else. Nothing is better than love and nothing's worse than losing it. And knowing that and knowing that it happens somewhat sometime to each of us, if it's over, it's over. But be careful, be gentle and honest. The heart is nothing to play with. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. We give a salute to you, Jerry. Thanks for having us. We love you. Hi, everybody. I'm Crestic, Illinois. Jerry, we're from GI. You we got it going on. Young What's that? Jerry, your show of the bomb will get shot the lips and cut yourself here. You couldn't come, but the show was the bomb. Southside, Jerry. <laughs> Hey, Jerry, I'm Joey. This is my sister, Melissa. Hey, what's up? <laughs> we come um, all the way from East Harbor, Connecticut. Represent the hood. Give a shout out to my friends. See you back at home. Jerry, Jerry, can you work it? Work it? Can you work it? Work it? Can you work it? Work it?
Mind. 